It's less than a week until Mother's Day, and reporter Charlie Yeager has waited until the last minute to get his mom a gift. So today he was down at Country Sunshine Farm in Brainerd picking out flowers for his mom when he discovered they're growing more than just plants. Love grows at Country Sunshine Farm, the kind only a mother can give. My kids have been a part of growing this business because I'm their daycare, they come with me. It's stressful at times, but I, I make it work because I know this time is going to go by fast and they're going to be grown up and it's a lot of work, but it is a lot of fun. I am living the dream. I love what I do. Veronica began growing a family with husband Wade not long after graduating high school, first with daughter Felicity, Next was daughter Kenzie, but on May 9th of 2019, tragedy struck and Kenzie passed away. It was extremely hard because she was a healthy little girl and it was a home accident and Kenzie was under my watch and that's, I'll forever carry that with me. You learn to appreciate the little things. Don't take any day for granted is kind of what, what um, I took from that. But where there is death, there is also life. The very next year, they welcomed daughter Emma. And then in 2022, their fourth daughter, Ellie, was born on Mother's Day. Having Ellie was a whirlwind because my due date was May 12th and with Kenzie's death anniversary, May 9th, I was very adamant and I did not want to have a baby around that time because it's just very emotional. We did not have a name picked out. We had a list and Ellie was on it and Ellie means light and it just, it was like a light that clicked like this is perfect. I feel like it was the way God was saying, you know, she's going to be the light to bring you through the hard times. And so it just gives me goosebumps that it worked out the way it did. Today, Veronica is living her dream and growing as a mother right alongside her daughters. I wanted to be a mom. I knew that growing up and my three daughters here with us today, you know, watching them, it, it's fun because they, their personalities shine and they're, they're kind girls and, and funny. And so I'd like to think I'm doing some good things. <laughs> Even if your mom isn't one for flowers on Mother's Day, you should at least give her a call and make sure. Hold on just a second. Of course. Well, I've got to take this. So reporting in Brainerd, Charlie Yeager, Lakeland News. Hey, Mom. All right. Thanks, Charlie. Take that call for sure. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.